Welcome back to Master Media, everybody. Today, we're going to do a speed draw of Super Saiyan 6 Vegeta, a concept that I just developed and kind of threw together. And this is going to be on the Huion GT156 version 2. Huion provided me with this tablet for an unbiased review. So I'm going to tell you, is this tablet worth it? Did I enjoy working on it? What are the pros? What are the cons? First of all, let's talk about the packaging, as you see right here on the monitor. Everything Everything comes very, very neatly placed inside. This is my third Huion tablet, and I gotta say, out of all the packaging and materials, this one is the highest quality. Out of, I tried the GT191, which is the 19 inch, and also the 22 inch Pro version. Now, it is a very, very high quality, nice looking tablet. It's super lightweight and thin. The stand is incredibly different than the traditional Huion stands, and your tablet just slips right in. It's a really, really nice stand, really versatile in terms of if you want to take this on the go for something like a business trip, this is a excellent tablet. Now, the other tablets traditionally are very heavy. It's like a huge monitor and you can't really lug it around. If you need a tablet that you can move around in, take with you, move around the house, something like that, this is an excellent choice for you because the other ones you can't really move around very easily. It comes with a drawing glove and two pens and you get all of the plugs for wherever you are in the world, you get the right converter plug, so it should work anywhere in the world. It comes with 15 express keys over there on the left side, one of them being a scrolling bar that you can use to zoom in or move your drawing area around, and the panel for the express keys was very, very nice, like a very nice texture. It's kind of soft, but the clicks were great. It's the best express keys I've touched on any Huion tablet so far. I really enjoyed using the express keys on this one. This is one of the major benefits and pros of the GT156 version 2. The screen itself, traditionally the Huion tablets seem to have more teeth. This one felt more of like a matte finish, so it's kind of in between glass and teethed surface, which was a new experience for me. And uh, I really liked it when I was drawing up close, but when I had the zoom all the way out and I was trying to just sketch, I was having trouble with the matte. It didn't really seem like the pen was being too responsive, like I had to push really, really hard, and it did actually make it a little bit more difficult to sketch. The 15 inch monitor I think is good for some people. I'm very used to a 20 inch drawing tablet and so going down in such size was a challenge for me. If you've never used a tablet before, pretty much the more inches you have, the more drawing surface area that you will have. It's not really shrinking the size of the Adobe program, it really just shrunk my drawing area, meaning that I had to be more zoomed in in order to accomplish the same sorts of goals. Personally, I like having more of a drawing surface so I can see more of the character and I don't have to constantly zoom in, zoom out and move the map around. But at the same time, you're exchanging it for an incredibly lightweight tablet that you can move around and take with you on travel and other tablets you can't do that. So I think it really comes down to your preference and what you need your tablet for exactly. Now I have a lot of friends who are animators who work on a 13 inch Cintiq and somehow they're able to do it and they're amazing. But I personally was having some trouble with this, probably because I'm just so adjusted to a 20 inch monitor, which really did seem to make quite a difference. In fact, I was actually closing my panels on the left and right side uh, and minimizing them so that I could get more drawing area. And that actually did seem to work out pretty well. It didn't really seem to slow me down too much. So maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. It has over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity, which I wasn't using for this image specifically, but I did test it out just with a pressure sensitive brush tool and it worked really well. Uh, it felt very fluid and nice. I was able to go from the thinnest line to the thickest line uh, just by gently applying some pressure. And so the pressure sensitivity on this thing is great. In terms of resolution, it is a 1920 times 1080 full HD tablet monitor, so that's really nice. The GT191 uh, was not full HD, so even though this monitor is smaller, it has higher resolution than that old model. By the way, I was talking to Huion, and they are actually coming out with a GT191 version 2, which will, I'm assuming, be full HD. 
Now, if you want to buy this monitor, it really comes down to a matter of preference. The fact that you can take this and sit on the couch and draw while you're watching TV, move around the house and take it on trips with you is unparalleled in the industry. I think it's good enough for professional work, but my personal opinion, and that's why I mean it's a matter of preference, is that I felt that there just wasn't enough surface area. And that's not Huey on's fault, that is just what happens when you work with smaller tablets. If you're just getting into animation, this is an excellent starting tool. And if you guys want to buy this tablet, they have given me a code to get you guys 6% off of your purchase. Um, the tablet on Amazon right now is $480, so 6% is around $29 off. If you guys are interested in buying this, go click the link in the description. It'll take you to the Amazon site and then put in the code that is also in the description to get your 6% off when you buy it. I had a lot of fun drawing with this tablet. Again, it was very difficult for me to get adjusted to the smaller size, but I still think it is a really, really good tablet for the price, especially comparing to some of the other industry models out there. Huion is extensively known for having very affordable priced graphic pen display tablets, and they just keep upgrading and producing new models. So I was really happy to be able to try another new one out of their arsenal. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Huion GT156 version 2 and I go, hope you guys enjoyed Super Saiyan 6 Vegeta. I will be taking screenshots of this and handing it out to my fans uh, on social media. Thanks guys and I'll be talking to you very soon.